Long ago, before there were any ancestors, there was a great commotion in the sky and the earth was formed. My aunt, God rest her soul, told me that we have always been here. She said the earth was beautiful in the beginning, but there was no one here to help care for it. So our creator, Mukat, and his brother decided to have a competition to see who could create the most perfectly formed humans to help care for the earth, all its creatures, and life-giving plants. Because Mukat took great care with his work, he won the competition. When Mukat was finished making humans, he realized it was so dark that he could not see them, so he made the sun, the moon, and the stars to light the skies both day and night. When he saw us, he was happy. He called us Kuwia people, the powerful ones who rule. And he put us in this place and we lived peacefully for a long time. My aunt, may she rest in peace, told me new people came into the Kuwia world and brought sickness and misery. Things changed. We became fewer and we changed too. Many of our sacred songs were lost some traditions became forgotten, and many of our stories vanished. My aunt said she had dreams, many dreams about bringing the Kawiya way back to life. The Malki is the inspiring story of a Kawiya woman, Jane Penn, and her determination to honor her Aunt Margaret Pablo's dreams of preserving the Kuya culture for generations to come. She enlisted the help of her friend, Catherine Siva Sobel, and the two became trailblazers in every sense of the word. Together, they embarked on an incredible journey to create a place where history, culture, and hope could thrive. That place is the Malky Museum on the Morongo Reservation in Banning, California a place of endless wonders, a place ever evolving yet unchanging in its vision to let the world know we are still here. Oh.